Hello. So I was given a pair of Mesa Trail shoes by Zero Shoes to try out and to review. Um, so that's what I did. Um, they are marketed as trail running shoes. Now, I'm not a huge trail runner, honestly. I am a big hiker. So for me, these are like my hiking boots, <laughs> which as this is honestly exactly what I want now. Um, I don't like boots. Um, I don't need boots. Yeah, as long as these hold up, I would re much rather have a light, um, yeah, almost like running shoe kind of thing out there on the trail anyway. So that this is, uh, yeah, my hiking boot. So that's how I tested them as I took them hiking. Um, I think they've gone about 50 miles um, now. And they are doing great, which is good because they should be after 50 miles. They were yeah, they were tough miles. All I'm talking like all woods and trails and rock scrambles and hills and tough stuff. Um, but they still yeah they shouldn't be like falling apart anywhere after 50 miles, and they aren't so good. Can't call them like durable yet, but they are still um, still doing good. Yeah, so they haven't failed. <laughs> Um, they performed perfectly. I love them. They are so light, um, and the grip is so good, and they are very comfortable, and you don't really know what else to ask for out there. So it's like, they nailed it. I'm trying to think of, so there's just a few, like, not perfect things. Um, these... The insole, yeah, the insoles kind of didn't stay in very well. They like slid back and started to crease and just got ruined. They just like weren't staying in place very well. Um, so they're kind of useless and they're out. Um, and the only other thing is, I'm not sure if like this was a little bit long or if they're just kind of a little bit big for me. But when I would flex my foot like this, this front thing right by the toes right here, I could feel that. It just kind of pushes in on my lower foot there right uh, before my toes begin. I just feel that pressure all the time. And you know, you're going uphill and you're flexing your foot all the time and you're just feeling it. Um, just in the left foot for some reason. So yeah, I'm not sure if, again, this might be a little bit big. I kind of feel like they should shorten this and then you've got more room to flex and you're good. Um, that could be it, or it could just be, again, that they're a bit big because they are 11 and a half, which I am like right between 11 and 11 and a half usually. I get 11 and a half if I'm gonna wear wool socks. Um, and I do that for my hiking shoes. So this is perfect. And I would stay at 11 and a half. There's, um, you know, there's a little bit of room. And I tie them down a little bit tight. But they're, I think they're the right fit. I think they feel good. So I'll try not to blame that. Um, uh, and, oh yeah, and it went away. <laughs> so I'm talking about little imperfections that solve themselves. So maybe, maybe also it was just a little bit stiff out of the box and needed to be broken in. Oh, too. It's got little creases in there now where it's molded to my foot. So performance has been fantastic so far. Comfort, good. Um, I think they look good. They're simple. Uh, yeah, they're solid black. I just got them a little dirty. Um, they cleaned up real well. I just cleaned them up and then I took them out again. Uh, <laughs> it had another chance to go on a nice hike and would rather do that and get more data for the review and have them be a little dirty. Um, so yeah, they're just solid black. Um, and really the only decorations kind of comes from the natural structures that they usually have. Kind of those horache straps. 
and I noticed right away they kind of like built them into shoe structure instead of being exposed, which they used to do that. And it seems like this is more common now and it's good. It gives you like a peace of mind that you're not going to snag it on a stick. Um, that has happened to me with some of the old ones, I've, like the old uh, Prios I've hiked in and the Daylight Hikers are another pair that I've had. But um, yeah, I have snagged stuff, but they've never like torn off, luckily. So I've never had like a catastrophic failure. But this kind of takes you off your mind, which is kind of really probably the more important thing is you're not worried about it. Um, another thing that's better about these than those other shoes that I've hiked in, again, the Prios and the Daylight Hiker, is these lugs are bigger. I think uh, another pair of their hiking shoes or another couple pairs do them like this now. These are, there's just fewer of these and they're deeper and it makes a difference. You can tell um, going up and downhill, um, especially on like smooth or thin, slidey dirt, this grabs way better. So I, you know, had to, had to kind of slide down the hills a little bit, honestly, especially as they they were wearing it down and um, you know, wearing out and getting flatter. Where these, it never had an issue. They were uh, gripping really well. Uh, mud, yeah, rock, all kinds of different surfaces, killed them all. So I am thrilled so far. I really hope they continue to hold up. Um, they do make you a little bit nervous just because they're so light. Um, but yeah, if they continue to hold up, they're just they're going to be a great hiking shoe that I will come back to and yeah, continue to use. So love them. Give them. I didn't officially decide. I'll give them an eight out of ten. And thank you, Zero Shoes.